I hope you're having a great day and I hope you're staying safe at home. Today I want to talk about a simple seed that exists in almost every single Indian kitchen. <clears throat> we use this in our cooking, but we could be using it more, especially because of the health benefits that it has when it comes to our digestion, when it comes to acidity, when it comes to indigestion, when it comes to our hair, our skin, and everything else. I'm talking about carom seeds, also known as ajwain. Now, ajwain is absolutely fantastic when it comes to the digestive health because of the active ingredient called thymol. So thymol helps us to basically uh, produce more digestive enzymes which helps us to break down food. So number one, when it comes to your digestion, why do we usually suffer from indigestion? Number one, because we overeat. Number two, because our meals are not balanced. We either have too much of carbs, very less protein, or too much of fiber, too much of protein, less fats. That's why your meal has to be balanced. So when we put a burden on the digestive system, your digestive system has to work in overdrive to break down the food that you're eating. Or it could be too spicy, or it could be that you're keeping long gaps between your meals. All of this can, uh, uh, basically uh, causes indigestion as well as eating under stress. Whenever you are stressed, do not eat. Okay, your body is not designed to break down and digest food when you're stressed. So calm down, take a couple of deep breaths, keep all your distractions away, and then eat your meal peacefully. You will find that your digestion improves. So when it comes to ajwain, and that's why it's an Indian tradition to chew on ajwain seeds post your meal. We can cook them, we can roast them, but post a meal, a little bit of jeera, a little bit of fennel, which is soft, and a little bit of ajwain is great to stimulate your digestive system. Number two, acidity. If you have a lot of acidity, number one, popping antacids isn't going to solve your problem long term. In fact, you're going to be left with a new problem of low stomach acid, which creates a lot of other health problems and bacterial infections in the body as well. So number one is ajwain can really help with acidity. You can chew on it or you can boil ajwain seeds, make a little concoction out of that and sip it warm. That can help with your digestion and your acidity. But remember, you still need to address the root cause of your indigestion and acidity by changing your lifestyle. When women are going through pregnancy, sometimes they have a lot of nausea. They have a lot of morning sickness. They have a lot of indigestion. Again, ajwain can really help. Same way, take a teaspoon, boil it in about three cups of water, reduce it to half and sip on this slowly through the day. When it comes to worms, a lot of us have parasites and worms inside our intestines. They live over there, they start robbing us of nutrition, they block the absorption of nutrition into our blood and they can cause a lot of problems, right from bacterial infections to fungal infections to even indigestion and a lot of gas and bloating. So ajwain has been used for the longest time and it is now also approved by the Ayush Ministry of Health in our own country, recognized as something that can help us to naturally deworm. Of course, if your doctor puts you on a deworming tablet, listen to your doctor. But when you're looking at nature, mixing a little bit of ajwain, okay, with jaggery, this needs to be done in between your meals or on an empty stomach. So basically, you have a little bit of jaggery, like maybe half a teaspoon of jaggery and half a teaspoon of ajwain. And you chew this together. You make a paste, so you just mix it and chew it together. And this is very, very good to remove worms and even kill worms. But remember, all worms and parasites may not work with this method. You may have to take treatment in case, your, uh, in case the infection is very, very uh, chronic within you. But to clean out your entire intestines, uh, carom seeds or ajwain is perfect for you. So once in a way, just make an ajwain tea. All you need to do is take a teaspoon of ajwain, boil it in water. You can add a little bit of cinnamon. And when the boiling process is over, you can add a teaspoon of raw honey if you want or a little bit of jaggery. It tastes really good. It's a very calming tea because of thymol. Again, thymol is also known to calm us down when we're very stressed. So it's a perfect concoction for you to have maybe once a day or maybe once a week. That's really up to you. It's also rich in fiber, minerals, vitamins that our body requires for our hair and our skin. And when it comes to arthritis, okay, it is known today to reduce even arthritic pain because it's highly anti-inflammatory. So include ajwain in your diet. Like I said, you can chew it. Some people like to roast it. Roasting the ajwain doesn't change the nutritional properties at all. So you can lightly roast it. You can make a mix of fennel seeds, uh, jeera, ajwain, whatever it is that you want and have it post your meals or you can boil it and make it into a tea. Simple things like this, simple gifts from nature help us. Uh, it helps us with our health in a huge way. And also babies with colic when they're gassy, when they're crying at night, you can take ajwain, you heat it and you make a paste with either pure ghee 
or castor oil and you apply it on the navel area of the baby. This even works for adults and senior citizens. It helps you to reduce the gas and gives you almost instant relief. Like always, make an informed decision. If you have an allergy to it or it doesn't suit you, don't do it. Have a great day, everyone. Until next time, eat smart, move more, sleep right, and breathe deep.